Spirits Meet. My name is Lüning, how's Lüning? This is my son Ben. And today we're tasting through some flora and fauna whiskies, where we have four of a dozen or so here in our cask. And the first we're trying today is the Inchgauer, 14 years of age, 43% ABV, and well, a space hider. Mm, I think I've driven past Inchgauer at least three or four times. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's a, a wonderful big distillery. The warehouses I've read that they have 60,000 casks on site and there's a big sign outside that says Bells. <laughs> yeah, so, so is this the lead malt from Bells? Uh, one of the lead malts. The second one is Blair Ethel. Okay. And there, I think there's a flora and fauna bottling of Blair Ethel as well. <laughs> uh, and uh, Inchgauer, I had been in, in the distillery in... Mm, 1994 or <laughs> seven something uh, it looks the same as in former times uh, the pot stills are very impressive they're in a quite a small uh, still house and they are not too big but they are uh, they have no uh, constriction they are pier shaped kind of uh, fat, fat. <laughs> yeah <laughs> so the intensity of the mod should be great well, the intense. Intense, so, yeah. Um, I've read that they kind of consider themselves as a lower space side. But so not as mild as a space side, but as a kind of distant space side. I don't know what they mean by lower lo space lo side. But lo lower there, close to uh, the mouth. The yeah, space, yeah. Mouth, yeah. Uh, so I don't know what they want to say with it, but they, they are supposed to be a bit more spicy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the... Uh, we tasted the Inchgauer uh, several years before, uh, but now uh, decided the proprietor of all the distilleries, uh, not the Ochros, <laughs> they sold it, uh, to have the Flora and Fauna series continued and spread uh, through the, uh, well, to the public. So it might be possible that you find these quite rare malts uh, shortly uh, in your area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So try. This is uh, most of them are ten. Uh, some of them are twelve, and this one is fourteen. 14. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the the name of the flora and fauna series. Ah, we have the close up. Uh, you see the oyster catcher on the label. So there are uh, uh, animals and plants typically on those labels. So it's called flora and fauna series. And uh, very often there are no uh, original bottlings of these, uh, well, industrial distilleries for the band industry. So uh, this is close, as close to the uh, distillery label as possible, mm. if they have no other. Yeah, Extremely well cork. <laughs> <laughs> Flora and fauna is to be considered as the, yeah replacement original bottling yeah and they're all standard liquor bottles with uh, yeah, the animals and plants on it yeah they're not the exact standard liquor bottles because they uh, mm -hmm. are slightly uh, smaller on the bottom than on the top but very Whoa. close to very distinct for me Ah, yeah, this is kind of citrus dominant. Yeah. Uh, fruitiness behind. Lemon, limet. Dry, yeah. Dry. <laughs> okay, the last one I didn't get because I have um, juicy. <laughs> I have very juicy, but not juicy, but very fruity, fresh fruity, combined with a fermented fruitiness, combined with a lot of lemon. Mm -hmm. So it's a, a very for for me. It's it feels like there's a little bit of that uh, distillery new make spirit character in there with a fermented pier. But already changed so much that it's a a good whiskey. 
and it doesn't have the alcoholic note to it. It's just 43%. It's 14 years of age, so no. there is some, some it, mature, mature, matureness mm -hmm. in that whiskey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> pH 3.5 <laughs> this is really lemon but uh, growing a growing spiciness behind mm. so this is on one side pot steel character on the other side probably a little bit of cask but the aftertaste is not that spicy mm. so it might not be the casks but the pot still which delivers the taste and dryness in the aftertaste. It kicks off fruity and juicy, as we would expect from the nose, and it unfolds with a lot of spiciness, volume and character. Not as intense as could be, so it's not a very intense whiskey. And it comes out with a yeah, citrus note, mm. dryness, dryness but for me it's so more of a Dryness, citrus note, I don't know. A little bit of zesty, not just juicy citrus, but zesty citrus. Mm -hmm. So this one, if somebody looks for a whiskey with a citrus note, this is it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more uh, citrus note than I would expect from a space cider. This would be typical for Northern Highland. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. It is at the north coast of the space side. So mm. it's, I think you can see the sea from there. Just a Bucky, stone. close to Bucky. Bucky, yeah. Uh, just a stone throw away. Mm -hmm. Problem yeah. is, um, if they don't have a, a big um, original bottling and they are kind of big for the blend industry then it's it's not I'm not gonna be able to get in there probably that's a bit of a trouble so yeah I think your photos in there were are pretty much the only ones that <laughs> go around with a few exceptions yeah okay mm -hmm. very nice so yeah if you find this whiskey on the cask on the shelves they are a little bit of a jam because they they're not that well known so you might as well give them a try because they are good bottlings from in the uh, distilleries that are really not uh, in original bottlings yeah and we forgot to tell the price mm -hmm. it's in the 50s to 60s yeah yeah so thank you very much for watching and see you next time